Hi, welcome to Start PHP. In this video, we are going to learn about string and some of the feature of the string in PHP. Because when you work with PHP and develop applications, in every step you will face challenges and you will face issues to be able man to manipulate, understand, and process a string. So uh, let's see what we learn in this uh, video. This is video number five and we work with string. It's up for absolute beginners. And the first thing that we do is we will look at the string length to find what is the length of a string. After that, we work with getting any character from a string and then extracting portion of a string, not one character, but starting from some character up to some character. And then we will uh, look at a position of something or some character in a string. You want to find out if something is at what position in that string of 20 characters, for example. After that, we will look at how to find and replace certain uh, character or pieces of information within the string. And then we will look at splitting the string into multiple pieces. Then we will look at uh, string explode there is a feature or function and then we will we will look at the implode okay then we will look at the, uh, how to reverse a string sometimes you need to reverse it after that we will look at converting a string to all uppercase and also we will look at uh, converting all a string to the lowercase so let's get started okay for this video we will need to have apache a and uh, php installed on your machine if you're using windows we should have wamp server or Linux or Mac it will be lamp and MAMP uh, so for Windows users I've created a video I'm also using NetBeans this is a free open source uh, independent integrated development environment which is free and very powerful I have also another video that uh, tells you and shows you how you can install a set and set this up so it can work I'm just having localhost slash form so I can just create file here. So I'm now at a net, net bin, so I'm just creating right click new PHP and call it string. So it will be added to string.php. So this is my PHP. So let's uh, create a string first. To define a variable, as I mentioned before, we don't have to go for the type because it will work at this stage. It's not critical. So I just call it text equal okay so this is my text now let's get the length of this so I'm printing the length here to get the length we use uh, uh, I'm just concatenating this text to the length but here I'm using strlen that means string length so it will print the length of the string so let me run this I'm refreshing it and see the string is here so that is my text and here is the length is 19 characters including the white space so you see if you count this all it, this is 19 the space at the end that also will be counted I just added space so that is 20 characters so so if you want to get any piece of the character let's say you want to get um, s so here that is type 7 so this will print and let me also add a break here at the end so that is s it has been printed if I change this to 9 so that is 8, 9, this will be A. Sometimes you need to get uh, a portion of a text. So now I'm, uh, now I'm printing selected. So this 7 means uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This 7 means a start and that's it. Up to the end, whatever is the remainder. So start and start php.com from character number 3 and then comma. 13, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So up to the 0. Also, you can do minus 3 
and then so let me just put that So this is start from 3 and prints that one, let me just run it, start from 7 and this is start from 3, prints 13 characters. Okay, so this means it starts from minus 3, it starts from here, 0, 1, 2 and then this is 3, from this side up to there. So let's run this, com, so it means three last character if you put minus three it means three last character and the same thing you can put it so it starts it counts from the other side because accounting sometimes will be very hard from this side so you just say get it from the other side and the same way that we did that now we want from minus 12 and we want five characters so this is being printed so minus 12 get five characters now let's find a position of a text so let's say you want to find the position of love within this string. Where is it located? Uh, so to do that, we use strpose, string position, and we put the text that you want, that text, or directly text type your text here. And there, here we can put a variable or the text that you want, so love. We want to look at the love inside that text and print it. So let me save that and then run it. So here, string position of love in a string is two because i is zero and then space is one and love starts at the position number two so this shows the beginning of the position of that string okay sometimes you need to split a string into certain number of characters let's say our i love start php.com and you want to split it into characters of four so this is the text and we use str split which means string split or split the string and then we put the text and then whatever number you want so in this case I put it into uh, pieces of four so this the result is stored here I call it splitted and then because this is an array uh, an array and I have not covered array I'm just showing you how to access each piece because this is total uh, is 19 character so you see 4 times 5 is 20 so the last piece will have less than 4 and then let's just run this code okay so that is first second third fourth and fifth piece so the first four character i and then space is also count so that is i and then l o and v is here and then up to dot up to com so all of those are shown here so this way you can split the text now let's look, uh, let's have a look at the explode. So explode is used, this function explode, used based on some pattern or uh, character that whatever you want. So here it says that take that text, which is I love start php.com and split it by wherever you see E. So from E split it. Now if we look here in the whole text, we have only one E. So we can split it by E, we can split it by S, we do one s split it by t we have one two t or split it by dot so this will be one piece and the other will be the other piece so let's run the code now i l o v the character that you are splitting with that that character is as a delimiter as they call it separator so will not be used so i I L O V and E disappeared and then space and start php.com is here. If I use um, space, just empty space, now I and then laugh and start php.com, so we have three pieces, we are getting it. So to use, like before, if you want to use the first portion, just use this.
so zero or one or two so then it will be printed you see i is printed here so it has been if i want to put dot it will be splitted by dot so i love start php and then dot and then this is the element zero because now it has zero and one two pieces so when we print that zero this zero refers to that so now we have a phone number and you want to split it into pieces so sometimes you need to find out the area code and detect it or maybe it has parentheses whatever so in this case we have a dash in between and we say split it and then it will be stored all the result will be stored in this variable which is an array and we are just printing it here so we see it in the next line now that piece has been split into the position the port uh, the first portion which is zero is one and the number one is 844 and number two is this and number three is this so it, it has in four portion because we have four uh, three dashes it will be four pieces and here is the example of implode so what what implode does that pieces that you saw the piece number zero two three and four if you want to join them back together you use implode but implode also allows you to put some character between all of those that have been stitched together in this case this is being printed uh, impl exploded with a uh, mm, dash so we have every piece separately now we can join them together with comma or we can remove comma and join them together let's see first a comma and then here the result implode is stored here imploded and I'm printing it here so so you saw that this the telephone number is here and here I have imploded the spelling I am so now let's remove that and then do it so you can make it like that for sometimes people put credit card and you want to verify it or it has many many applications now sometimes you need to reverse the string especially some special characters some uh, math some credit card or some other values for whatever reason for purpose of learning or whatever reason you want to reverse the order of all characters in a text so we use str rev which means string reverse and just put the uh, uh, text that you have so I'm printing this now here reverse string here I love if you read it from reverse I love start PHP dot com sometimes uh, you need to convert a string to uppercase so this is a text and we say str str to upper so this is two and then upper and str two and then lower whatever text you give it will convert it to upper and lower case so here I love start php.com all of everything is uppercase and this is lower case so this was tutorial 005 all the code that I've used here for you to just simply copy and paste is the link is in the description that you can get it from startphp.com. Thank you very much.